Hello everyone. It's great to see us approaching the big day for SpaceX Elon Musk today, as all the final preparations are complete and the countdown for the highly anticipated Flight 6 has officially begun. At the same time, SpaceX continues to set new records with the Falcon 9, cementing its dominance in the aerospace industry. And Blue Origin has just announced an updated launch date for the new Shepard NS-28, but this event will likely be overshadowed by the overwhelming power and scale of SpaceX's fleet. Join SpaceX Elon Musk as we explore all these updates and build excitement for Flight 6 in today's episode. After successfully completing a fuel injection test, SpaceX has officially completed all pre-flight reviews. Now, all eyes are on the final countdown as preparations for the highly anticipated launch come to a close. Initially, it was expected that SpaceX would have to remove Starship to install the Flight Termination System FTS for Ship 31. However, according to new reports, SpaceX has quietly completed this step in advance. Specifically, the FTS was installed shortly after Ship 31 was moved to the launch site late on November 12th, and since the work took place at night, it went largely unnoticed. This information confirms that there are no plans to remove the ship. Both stages, Ship 31 and Booster 13, are now fully integrated and will remain in place until they separate during flight. In another important move, SpaceX has moved the carrier back to the manufacturing facility, reinforcing the belief that the rocket is ready for launch. A crucial element of Starship missions is fuel preparation. Each launch requires a huge amount of propellant, reflecting the enormous scale of SpaceX's operations. Ship 31 alone requires 260 tons of liquid methane and 1,000 tons of liquid oxygen, for a total of 1,260 tons of fuel for one flight. To provide this amount of fuel, SpaceX needs 14 methane tankers and 48 oxygen tankers. The Super Heavy Boost phase is much more demanding, requiring 800 tons of liquid methane and 2,800 tons of liquid oxygen, for a total of 3,600 tons of fuel. This means 43 methane tankers and 134 oxygen tankers. In total, a single Starship launch requires 4,860 tons of fuel, which means 239 tanker truck trips, not to mention the liquid nitrogen used for cooling and pressurization. Just imagine how much this fuel consumption will multiply in future space plans. SpaceX CEO Gwyn Shotwell recently revealed an ambitious goal, 400 Starship launches in the next four years. At that rate, SpaceX would need to make nearly 95,000 fuel deliveries, an average of 65 per day. This level of activity will transform Starbase into a bustling hub of non-stop activity, laying the groundwork for an unprecedented phase in aerospace development. SpaceX's mission has always been to make space more accessible and create the foundation for a multi-planetary future for humanity. A recent SpaceX Twitter post underscored this vision, SpaceX was founded to increase access to space and make life multi-planetary. Do you think this goal is achievable in the near term? The leaps forward in 2024, especially with Starship, are already producing incredible results. This year alone, we've seen incredible progress in developing Starship's capabilities with the goal of returning humanity to the moon and eventually landing on Mars. Elon Musk shared this optimism, claiming that with Starship, humanity finally has a rocket design capable of making life multi-planetary. When asked if humans could achieve a flight to Mars within their lifetimes, Musk confidently replied, yes, absolutely. Flight 6 marks the end of the first version of Starship and paves the way for the development of a more advanced design. This flight is not only a test of SpaceX's engineering capabilities, but also an opportunity to demonstrate significant progress in many important systems and capabilities. This will be SpaceX's second attempt to capture the giant booster with its Mechazilla arm, and Ship 31 is expected to perform a controlled vertical landing, demonstrating progress in its re-entry and landing systems. Notably, SpaceX will test the ability to restart Starship's engines in orbit, a critical capability for deep space missions. Additionally, new adjustments, including the removal of some experimental shields, 
will help evaluate the system's performance and guide future improvements. This test flight is not only a hardware demonstration, but also an opportunity to validate the feasibility of a fully reusable rocket system. Unlike the Falcon 9, which is partially reusable, Starship aims to be fully reusable, which will significantly reduce launch costs. This innovation is critical to achieving long-term goals, including establishing a long-term human presence on the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The continued improvements seen in Starship's first test flights, from engine reliability to heat shield performance to system integration, have demonstrated SpaceX's ability to learn and adapt at an unprecedented pace. As SpaceX moves into the next phase, its operations will continue to scale. It plans to launch approximately 400 launches between 2025 and 2028, not only supporting Starship's goals, but also solidifying SpaceX's position in the commercial launch market. Each mission will represent a new step forward in making space travel a regular and sustainable activity. With the flight just hours away, excitement is already high. Flight 6, scheduled for 4 p.m. CDT on November 19th, is the culmination of years of development and testing. SpaceX has already begun to build great anticipation through social media posts and updates, with photos and videos of Starship shared by Elon Musk sparking excitement, reflecting his inspiring optimism about humanity's future in space and SpaceX's relentless drive for innovation. As Starship V1 approaches its final chapter and a new era begins, the stakes have never been higher. The success of Flight 6 could pave the way for humanity's expansion into space. Are you ready to see history being made? Type going in the comments below, share with other space enthusiasts, and subscribe to the channel for more updates on SpaceX's groundbreaking journey. Join us in celebrating this milestone in our journey to make life multiplanetary with Starship. With Starship, SpaceX continues to demonstrate its dominance with the Falcon 9 rocket. In the previous episode, Musk mentioned an exciting time when SpaceX was preparing to launch four missions within 48 hours. Currently, three of those four missions have been successfully completed. The first mission took place at 5.28 p.m. EDT on November 17 from Kennedy Space Center's LC-39A. The mission, called Opus X, launched a secret payload for a customer called Opus, which is rumored to be a communication satellite. With this mission, SpaceX tied the number of shuttle launches at LC-39A at 82 and nearly matched NASA's total at the launch site at 93, just one less than NASA. Booster B-1077 completed its 16th flight and 85th landing on the drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, marking the Falcon's 369th successful landing. The second mission launched at 12.53 a.m. EDT on November 18th from SLC-4E, California. The mission launched 20 Starlink satellites into orbit, while booster B-071 completed its 20th flight and successfully landed on the drone ship. Of course I still love you, for the 109th time, bringing the total number of successful landings for the Falcon 9 booster to 370. The third mission took off at 1.31 p.m. EDT on November 18th from Launchpad SLC-40, carrying a communication satellite called GATN-2 for New Space India Limited, a government entity affiliated with ISRO. Booster B-1070 completed its 19th flight and 998th landing on the drone ship, just read the instructions, marking the 371st successful landing of the Falcon booster. All three missions were completed in less than 24 hours, a feat that further highlights SpaceX's unmatched efficiency and operational capabilities. Optimizing launch site performance was a key factor in helping SpaceX achieve these milestones, something that only SpaceX can do at such a scale. To celebrate the achievement, SpaceX tweeted, Teams launched three Falcon 9 missions from Florida and California in 20-hour intervals, successfully completing the 112th, 113th, and 114th Falcon missions this year. The post was further reinforced with, This year alone, 
We have completed 114 successful Falcon missions and counting with approximately 1,700 Starlink satellites deployed to provide high-speed internet to millions of people around the world. Elon Musk also shared the joy in a tweet congratulating the SpaceX team. Congratulations to the SpaceX team on completing three successful orbital launch missions in 20 hours. SpaceX is now approaching major milestones with 398 Falcon 9 flights completed and just two more to reach 400, which is expected to be completed this week. While there may be some delays to the 148 launch target this year, SpaceX VP of Launch Operations Kiko Donev has revealed plans to launch 21 more missions in the remaining 43 days, with the potential to fly around 135 flights, averaging one every two days. The Falcon 9 remains central to SpaceX's success and the growth of the aerospace industry. Get ready for more. And now, let's take a look at the upcoming New Shepard mission. After announcing the crew for the NS-28 mission, Blue Origin has officially announced a launch date for the crewed flight on November 22nd. The mission will use the same rocket and launch module combination that was used on the recent NS-27 flight. The launch is scheduled for 10.30 a.m. EDT, 9.30 a.m. CDT, with an estimated flight time of 10 to 12 minutes. However, the situation also highlights a major challenge for Blue Origin. Despite the success of New Shepard's suborbital missions with crew, the company still lacks an orbital vehicle powerful enough to compete with SpaceX's fleet of spacecraft. Until Blue Origin can demonstrate the ability to perform orbital missions with the new Glenn rocket, it will likely remain behind in the space industry. So that's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'm Arthur from SpaceX Elon Musk. See you in the next episode, and as always, keep your eyes on the sky.